Croiso friends, welcome back to Opus L and I. Today, I'm doing something a little different. A long while ago, a friend of mine, Delphina, asked me if I'd be willing to paint some shuttles for her with the badge of our kingdom's lace-making guild on them. It sounded like an interesting project, so I said yes. First things first, opening my happy mail. In true Opus L and I fashion, scissors just wouldn't do, and I resorted to using a scalpel blade. Here you can see all the shuttles very professionally laid out on my printer since my drafting table is a hot mess. I needed to find some way to keep the elastic on the shuttles from being painted accidentally, and decided that the easiest way would be to use painter's tape to mask off the ends and hold the elastic cording clear. that all those are finished, it's time to take them outside and get started painting. My goal with this project was not to use period accurate materials, but instead to make a product that wouldn't chip, flake, or wear. To that end, I decided to use acrylic paints with a clear top coat. The base coat is a Krylon spray paint in the golden yellow of Anstiora's Kingdom color. Each side of the shuttles received one coat of yellow spray paint, with a generous length of time for drying in between. 
I had debated spraying a second coat, but they really didn't need it. Once the shuttles are fully dry, I took off the masking tape, making sure that the edges of each painted area were nice and crisp. Because the bare wood and the yellow paint are so similar in tone, the first thing that I want to do is create a black border that will visually separate them. Once the border is finished, I pull up a copy of the Lace Guild's badge for reference. It's a black 10-pointed Onstioran star with a silver needle and gold lace bobbin crossed on top of it.
And the last thing to do after a long day of painting is the clear coat layer. And after messing with this clip in post-production for so long, I am reminding myself to never ever try filming again at night. Ever. No, not even if it seems like I will have enough light. I won't. Half of the fun of sending out parcels is making them all pretty before I box them up. Who doesn't love butcher's twine, wax seals, and a lovely handwritten note after all? Sorry if um, the audio is not great, but we are heading off to my apartment complex office to drop off the package so that I can get these in the mail to Delphina today. Hello, just have a package to go out and I can put it in the basket right here, right? 